Hello, hello, hello from my cross country track. Um, can you see the mountains behind me? Maybe I should stand this way. I was gonna, you know, let me show you through some. It seems we've been a lot of moose out last night. You see all the tracks? See all the tracks? Those are critter tracks, probably moose tracks. So anyway, I just been out for a run. I don't even know if this is the smartest thing to do right now because I'm so cold I could barely talk. I probably have snot dripping out of my nose. But if I do, excuse me. And if I don't, well, maybe it makes sense for today's topic. And that is badassery. Now, it's not a word that is my favorite word these days. I kind of think it's kind of overused, like uh, diva is another word that drives me up a wall these days, and badass, badass, because I kind of am old school in that stuff. And to me, a diva was either a royal pain in the butt or a fabulous drag queen. So either one way or the other. But today, diva kind of means something else. And for me, badass meant like one of my punk friends or someone who was like in a motorcycle gang. But right now we have our own different badass. And it kind of just means more about taking chances. So since I'm wearing my skull scarf today. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to talk about badass, right? And um, how it relates to you in showing up and standing out in your business. And if you want some more tips about how to stand out in today's very crowded market where you know your expertise is not enough, I encourage you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com and uh, join me over there. You'll see. You can learn more at Authentic Superstar and won't cost you a dime, but will get you loads ahead. But anyway, back to what badassery means in Versus what I'm going to do now is see, I got my ski poles. I'm going to try to hold this on my ski pole so my arm doesn't hurt as much. Maybe I should try to get you a Teton behind me here. Now I'm going to be in the most twisted position, but I got you some good mountain view, right? So, anyway, what does a badass mean to you and your business in your own terms? Not necessarily, like I said before, like the old punk. Uh, motorcycle gang kind of badass, but just going out and taking chances because you know right now in, in today's market, you've got to be authentic, you've got to be real, you've got to be consistent and on brand and on point in your message to create that uh, just magnetic kind of bond with your audience. And the more you step back in something that's very staged or very phony or very dated, you're losing out on just another connection. So it's kind of like if you're sticking to your what worked for you maybe two years ago or five years ago and you're trying to use it in today's market, it's not going to work. And the more you hold back on it and the more you stick to it and the more you never give up on it is the further, further back you're going to get. So you got to learn to be a little bit of a badass or a risk taker or just someone who's ready to go out there and confidently show up as your business, as your brand in whatever you do, particularly, particularly with your visual image right now. And authentic visual storytelling is just, it's paramount. It's imperative to really have a brand that speaks out. So all that other marketing stuff is fantastic. It's just great. I'm not giving up on it. And my degree is actually in marketing and I've been in this world for a long, long time. But taking it to the next level and really adding authenticity to it in what is now, you know, I was a writer. I had a syndicated column that went out to 400 papers. I still write posts and focus on style. And what happens is my writing, as much as I love it, is actually taking a second seat to what people see first. And that is in the one-tenth of a second that people judge you online when they see you. So as soon as they see a photo of you, they're going to decide if they're going to read the copy. Right? So you want to make sure that your photos, that your videos are all on brand, on top of what you're trying to do, relevant, and that you're ready to go out there in your most authentic way and you're not stuck and not confident and un looking unassured and asking all these questions. Can I do this? Can I do that? You're just whatever you're saying. You're standing tall. You're standing proud. And you're being your own personal kind of badass. So anyway, I hope this helps. And I'm going to go back in um, 
it's kind of a ski back. We're meeting my family in a bed, and then we're meeting some friends, and we're going to one of our favorite spots on the top of the mountain. So I'll try to come in from there if I can. If, if there's still light out, I will definitely come in from there. So anyway, I encourage you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. Join me over there, please, right now. Everything you need, AuthenticSuperstar.com. And also to turn on your notifications if you find this interesting. So you know the next time I'm going to go on live. Life, right? And if you find this interesting, share it with a friend too. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoyed making them for you, taking you on my little journey. Isn't that pretty? It's the back end of the Grand Teton Mountains. So anyway, hope that helps you guys. See you soon. Let me see if I can end with a mountain. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.